Hello everyone, I'm Suresh Kari here. I'm a senior AI engineer at Deccan Soft Software Services. Yesterday, OpenAI has announced a spring release and new updates from OpenAI. This time, updates are not as grand as GPT-4, but they announced a new model, which is GPT-4. So we're going to see different public implications. What are those features? And as a developer, how you can leverage them. So let's start with its features. One, a public access. Till now, GPT-4, if you have to use, you have to purchase a plan, which is GPT Pro, and you have to pay $10 a month. But whereas GPT-4, which is free for everyone. So they are going to roll this phased manner. So you might get this update in a couple of weeks. And second, compared to GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4, they are claiming it's 50% faster. So you can expect faster rate limits and a faster response time as well. And GPT Store, which is there only for pro users, will be accessible to anyone. And one more feature, they're launching a desktop application. So they gave a demo on uh, Mac, but I'm sure they're going to launch it for Windows as well, which is similar to Windows Copilot, which is already there for Windows 11 users, a desktop application, which has context to the system, and it can uh, run the commands, like system commands, like turn on the volume, change the theme, something like that. So, of course, it might not have those capabilities, but definitely it will be used. And it has another feature, which is real-time video processing. In GPT-4 Turbo, you have to take an image and you have to upload it to the portal. So, it can process that particular image. Whereas, in charge GPT mobile application, right now with this model, it can process a real-time video. It will remember all the frames and it can answer on any frame, which is very, very useful. In the demo, you can see. So interactively, it solved a mathematical problem. And data analysis. In GPT-4, you are aware that it can run Python scripts in the background and it can create beautiful visual layouts, visual analysis. The same thing, is now freely available to anyone. Of course, it's going to use the same engine as new model. And let's discuss about the APA. I like the other features. The APA is already available. You can go to OpenAI API platform and you can use the model straight away. So this is the GPT-4 Turbo pricing. For 1 million input tokens, it used to charge $10. For output tokens, it used to charge $30. The pricing of OpenAI, you know, the new model, which is 4 Vogue, is exactly off. That means for 1 million input tokens, it's charging $5. For 1 million input tokens, it's charging $15. The below what you see is the API version, what's currently getting used. So now, I want to run a couple of benchmarks comparing GPT-4 Turbo with GPT-4 Vogue. For that, I'm going to take this prompt. If you want to compare GPT-4 models, your prompt should be complex. As you know, if it is a simple prompt, it's always better to go for GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is a lot faster compared to GPT-4 models. So I have taken this prompt. You can see you're a renowned scientist who has just made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of quantum physics and blah, blah, blah. So I want to generate a conversation in these technical terms. So I have taken benchmarks. So executed this uh, C sharp script. So basically here I'm running 10 iterations of these benchmarks, GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-3.5 Turbo. And with the stopwatch, I'm going to count the time. So let's run 10 iterations. So it's going to take five to 10 minutes. So I already ran the benchmarks and I saved them. So let me go and open the benchmarks. Here you can check for GPT-4. It took 13 seconds to run the 10 iterations. It is for GPT-4 Turbo, which took almost 26 seconds. So the time load to off it's done with the double speed. 
Of course, GPT 3.5 Turbo, which will be much more faster, but the response is not that satisfactory. So my benchmarks on a simple prompt, it might vary, depends on your prompt. You might get the benefit when your prompts are getting more, far more complex. So of course, it's already accessible and you can start using this model. And when there are further two updates, we'll be dropping the new videos. Thank you.